Woof woof. Or should I say, hello. I've always loved a bit of glamour. Woo! Glamour. I think I put it on a voice. And I don't mind telling you that flamboyance really is a little bit fabulous. All these names, Anne. The Queen. The Queen. Royal variety performance. It's something I've always admired. I can't wait to be let off the leash in this competition. Living my best life. Something crafts dogs, someone who's good with dogs, someone who works with a dog, maybe. I'm very eager to start. Are you ready for me? She packed my bags last night, reflying Zero hour, not a hand And I'm gonna be alright As it caught my face I miss the earth so much, I miss my wife It's lonely out his face On such a timeless wow. life That's right Come on now Everybody gets And I think it's gonna be a long Touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man I think I am at home Oh, no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out of shoes up here for long This voice is amazing This is bigger And all the signs I don't understand Just my job, five days a week. A rocket man. A rocket man. Yeah. Come on, it's all about you. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time to touch down friends and run against you. I'm not the man. Love that poodle. Oh, the voice. Oh my, oh. oh my lord. You also remind me of my favourite loofer. <laughs> Jonathan, what did you think? That was so beautiful. I think that now is my favourite version of Rocket Man. Yes. yes. That was amazing. What a voice. But then looking at the food, you were in a nail bar, you were talking about glamour. I was thinking Queen might be drag queen. Yeah. Yeah. Someone I know performed on stage in drag brilliantly. If you've seen the musical Hairspray. Yeah. Would be Michael Ball who could carry that mm. song. Oh, that's a good one. That's a that's good, a one, good one. guess, Jonathan. Rita, I'll come to you next. You have an unbelievable voice, which you obviously know because I think that's your career. I'm going to stick on the Queen reference. And who toured with Queen? Adam Lambert. Yes, that's a really good one. Yeah. Yeah. Another good guess from Rita. Davina McCall. What I love is that. As well as singing absolutely brilliantly, you managed to really make me giggle as well because I think that was a howl at the beginning. Oh, yeah. that was genius. <laughs> that was amazing. So you were in some kind of nail bar also looking at the Queen's dog collars. I thought, could it be dog collar in the terms of priests? Uh huh. Ooh. Perhaps sexy priest from Fleabag, oh. Andrew Scott. <laughs> Lovely. But then I thought height, very funny. 
was famous from a singing talent show, Rylan. Mm, good, that's a good guess. And those are Ryland's legs. Could we see your teeth, please? Because Ryland has very white teeth. <laughs> <laughs> really incredible guesses so far. Mo, don't let us down now. But I was, that was so good, you know. It was when you done the dog bit. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> Just imagine all of the dogs watching Mars Singer in their living room. Dogs, home dogs going are going to be going wild <laughs> right now. Oh, man. But when I looked at the clues, this person is very connected to dogs, has also dressed up in drag, and I think it could be Paul O'Grady. Oh, oh yes! Yeah. That's so good! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you need your clue? Yes. What can you tell us, please, Poodle? I once went on a very long walkies. Once went on a very, very long, long walkie. So maybe like walking for charity. Or like. walkie talkie. They might have had a big conversation on a walkie talkie. I mean, that's, a, that's an amazing guess. Very that, long that, that you had a long conversation on a walkie talkie. That's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, who is it? Keep tweeting us with your guesses using the hashtag MarsingerUK. Your detective work could appear on this screen. As for the panel, are they on the right track or have they been thrown off the scent? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Poodle! Yeah. 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 I want to hear Poodle perform again. That was amazing. So good. Have the panel provided pedigree guesses or has Poodle left them chasing their tails? Really raised the woof out there with that performance, and I'm hoping I can blast through to the next show. Uh, and I'm gonna be <laughs> in my last outing. I rocketed into the limelight, and I enjoyed every second of it. Michael Ball. Andrew Scott. Paul O'Grady. Adam Lambert. When it comes to who I am, the panel are certainly barking up the wrong tree. I'm sure I don't need to tell you the poodle is no ordinary mutt. We're full pedigrees, and I have been trained very well. That's a scientist. He must be very smart. In fact, I have been doing what I do for Alan's and Alan's. That's Latin. So years and years. Although I try to be the goodest boy there is, when and if I've ever put a paw out of line, there's nothing like a light bashing by a newspaper to curb your behaviour. <laughs> and let me let you in on a little secret. I'm no stranger to a dog collar. What does that mean? A vicar? Love it! So 
Oh, good. You're so good. Oh. Davina McCall. Um, wow, Poodle, what a showstopper for the Oak Nine. And if you aren't a singer, then you are in the wrong profession. Wasn't it great? This is a tough song to sing. It is, because the timing is, is so specific. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you. Right. I mean, that just showed how hard it is to sing. <laughs> I thought somebody who's got the same physique, who is fun and camp. And I wondered, he was in a talent contest and he got really given a hard time by the papers. Rita, you were on the episode when he went through, I think, Ryland. Oh, yes, I, I put him through. That's a good guess. Mo, you look really confused. This is the weirdest groomers I've ever seen <laughs> in my yes. life. <laughs> oh, it could be. It could be Snoop Dogg. <laughs> He's an idol, and he's tall as well. It could be, you know. Right height. Don't yeah. put him past him, guys. He doesn't just eat advert. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one, isn't it? Because really, really you've got a great voice. You've definitely got a great voice. Height-wise, and one other clue, you see it said wags and woofies. I would probably guess if I had to, I'd go Peter Crouch. Peter? For me, I definitely think you're in music. You're very comfortable on stage. And so, just based off your vocals, because you do this, whoa, 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 you see that cry? Yeah. And uh, somebody that I remember that does that a lot is Mika. Do you guys want another clue? Yes. 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 Who doesn't love a game of two lies and a truth? Oh, yeah. Poodle is going to give us three clues, but only one of them is the real deal. Let's hear your first clue, Poodle. I might be fancy, but I'm not afraid to busk it. OK. I Kay. might be fancy, but I'm not afraid to busk it. Has that helped anybody? No. OK. <laughs> Next one. I've been known for being hazel, cerulean and ultra lilac. What? I've been known for being hazel, Cerulean and ultra lilac. I know what that means, I think. But I'm going to save you. Let's hear the last one. And then OK, we'll the it. last one. I have to admit, I do love to be idolised. <laughs> Jonathan, yeah. what are the three colours? OK, hazel is a colour, cerulean is a colour, ultra lilac is a colour. Hazel is brown, cerulean is blue, ultra Ooh. lilac is violet I sky. In the song, Grace Kelly, yes, he sings, exactly. I can be brown, I, I can, can be blue, blue I, can I can be, be violet I sky. Love it's Mika. Yeah. That's who's in there. Do you know who it is? Get on the old dog and bone and tell us. Actually, just tweet us. It's probably quicker. Hashtag Singer UK. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Poodle. <laughs> <laughs> the panel are full of puppy love, but have they been following the right scent? Who do you think's behind the mask? A simply marvellous time out there tonight. I've got a feeling I'm going to make a fool out of that panel. Well, performing first, ladies and gentlemen, it's Poodle! Yeah! Come on, back, guys, let's go this way.
I shouldn't have to tell you that a dog is for life, not just for Christmas. Chestnuts Number one at Christmas. That's 12 months, 365 days a year. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. There's nothing like getting a scratch behind the ear and opening some presents to get your tail wagging. What is that? Paintbrushes. Musical artist. Just remember to be safe and always check the Yuletide Times. Tartan scarf, maybe they're Scottish. Reputation's only fabulous. Like disco. Oh no, thank you, not for me. I'm not a fan. Doesn't have cakes. Tonight, I'm making a bow vow to be best in show. <laughs> Come on, baby, do it to me. <laughs> the little poodle suits are so sweet. Look at the little faces. Oh, what a song. I am unwritten. Can't read my mind. I'm undefined. No idea. I'm just beginning. The pen's in my hand. Let the sun illuminate the world that you cannot find Reaching for something in the distance So close you can almost taste it Release your inhibitions Feel the rain on your skin No one else can feel it for you Only you can let it in No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips Treat yourself in words are spoken Live your life with us quite often Today is Way up it begins, the rest is still unwritten. <laughs> I break tradition, sometimes my rhymes are outside the lines. Yeah, we've been conditioned to not make mistakes, but I can't live it. Open up the dirty window Let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find Reaching for something in the distance So close you can almost taste it Release your inhibition Oh, yeah. Okay, that. 
Unbelievable. <laughs> Jonathan, I'll come to you first. That was a great performance. Poodle can really sing. Yeah. That's Dog Joe, that's a pretty good voice you got out. Those are clues, though, you'd think it'd be easier this week because you're giving us an extra clue in the song title, but I think it's making it harder. Yes. So that was Natasha Bedingfield's song, Unwritten. So it could be a reference to somebody who's worked with Natasha Bedingfield, but I really can't make sense of it. My guess is, it's a guess I had before, because I just think the way you sing, the way you move, and I know you're a tall person, I think it might be Mika in there. <laughs> so, Peter, what are you thinking? Just because of the sheer physicality of him. And, obviously, he was on X Factor, but I'm not sure how Unwritten would work with this person, but that is Rylan. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a very strange thing to say, but that is I look Ryland. at that and I'm like, that's Ryland's leg right there. <laughs> just that bit. <laughs> it's true. Rita! Oh, gosh, Poodle, I just don't know. You just have such an exquisite presence to you. Yeah. And in my opinion, you know, someone that has a lot of creative control, artistically, I think that's what the artist thing means. Last time I saw you, I said Mika as well. And it's just going to still be Mika yeah. because you still can hold a note. Mo! I've seen the Christmas clue, and who is the person that comes out every Christmas? Not Mariah Carey, it's Michael Bublé. Bublé. So yes. I think it could be Michael Bublé. It's Michael Bublé. Because of the Christmas clue, Michael Bublé. We'll only find out the truth when we say toodaloo to Poodle's do. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Poodle! <laughs> Did these guesses deserve to be unwritten? Or have the panel put Poodle's identity to bet? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel seem to be obsessed with my height. Us Poodles have all got lovely long legs. They should know that. Panel, please discuss amongst yourselves and decide which celebrity you would like to save. Whichever masked singer the panel decide to save will continue in the competition. The other will be unmasked. Jonathan? Okay. Can you please tell us which masked singer you would like to save? Okay, it gets harder every week, obviously, and both of you gave tremendous performances. However, the masked singer we would like to save is. Robo Bunny. Wow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done, Robo Bunny. Head off down the tunnel, my friend. Your secret is safe. Yeah. Give it up for Robo Bunny, everybody. <laughs> so good. Everyone, let's hear it for Poodle. <laughs> So sad, unfortunately, your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. And very shortly, Poodle, you will be removing your mask. But first, panel, oh. who do you think is behind the mask? I'm going to come to you first, Mo. I'm going to go with the Christmas clue I've seen. I'm going to say Michael Bublé. Michael Bublé. Davida. I'm going to go with Ryland. Yes. Ryland. Rita. I'm going to stick with Mika. Mika. It's a good shout. Jonathan Ross. Oh, I'm going to take a wild shot here. I'm going for Peter Crouch. Oh! What? <laughs> He's throwing that in at the last minute. OK, I love this. Hey, well, some great guesses, guys. Let's see if any of you are right. It's time to I'm find out the identity of our masked singer. Who is behind the mask? Take, take it, it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Kicking myself. 
But I should have recognised you, because you know I'm a big, big Keen fan. But I didn't, I couldn't place your voice. And of course, somewhere only we know was the Christmas single for the Christmas advert. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Too late now, Jonathan. <laughs> 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 you talked about um, Unwritten. Why was that your song? So the 2005 Brit Awards, yeah. we beat Natasha to best breakthrough wow, act. Wow. So. Well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what made you be a dog? So my wife, we love the show. Uh, yeah. And she said, if you get off of that show, if you can be a poodle, you've got to do it. <laughs> she loves poodles oh, more than human beings. Oh, so, uh, I thought you were going to say more than you. Uh, more than me, definitely. <laughs> so this is a way of getting in her good books. We've got oh. a seven-year-old daughter and she oh, loves it. Does she know? She does not. Oh, no. oh that's so cute. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Have you enjoyed it, Tom? I've loved it, yeah. I, f I found it kind of um, exhilarating and, and terrifying and confusing, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's been a total blast. Yay! Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. so You've been so good, Tom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is it for tonight. Coming up next on ITV, a first index limitless win. We'll be back on your screens next week. But before we go, before we won, final time, unmasked at last. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tom Chaplin. Yeah. Good luck, Dirty window, let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find. Reaching for something in the distance, so close you can almost taste it. Release your inhibition. Thank <laughs> you.